My life before Christ was uh, focused on making money. My life before Christ was uh, a totally day in and day out uh, existence that was uh, unbeknownst to me at the time, uh, uh, an existence of self-absorbance. Um, and, you know, just doing what you normally do when you're trying to maintain a career in the movie business. Loving Jesus is what's most important to me. And I, I know that sounds hokey, but it's the truth. My life is God's life in me for him to do with what he wants. My wife and I were living in Tucson, Arizona about 16 years ago almost, and through the family we hired this cleaning woman. She's working with us for about two weeks, and. My wife kind of notices her singing that she does every day in her work. Eventually, after a few more days of this, went to Augusta and said, you know, I noticed your singing and um, I was just curious, you know, why is every song about Jesus? Uh, perhaps there's another tune in your repertoire, so to speak. Um, and Augusta had a very interesting reaction uh, to the question. She literally burst out laughing in my wife's face. I just had to do that, sir. And Augusta said, you know, again, um, understand that the reason that I'm laughing is uh, you think the only reason that I'm here is to clean your house. <laughs> uh, so my wife, <laughs> she says, honey, um, I, I'd like to share with you something that Augusta just told me. And I said, what's that, dear? And she said, uh, well, she just explained to me that the real reason she's here is because in the future, you and I are going to become born-again Christians, and at some point after that, we're going to have our own ministry. And I said, really? Hmm. At that point in my career, I was making more money than I could ever wildly imagine, and just to, to hear uh, that idea vocalized at that point in time, was utterly ridiculous. Uh, but um, that's the beginning of the journey for me. When I got to a place of willingness to just simply say to myself, okay, I'm willing to believe that Jesus Christ is the savior of the world. And I'm now going to ask God to show me what that means. And I'm gonna read the Bible and apply it to my life to the best of my ability to have that understanding, that's when uh, this whole experience became very, very real for me. I'm Stephen Baldwin, I am second. <laughs>